So we have some missing parts. All right, now we can make this rooftop here. Um, you see we have a beam that's kind of big, I would say. So let me see, I'm going to steal this again, just rotate it by 90, make it that big. And we can put it here, maybe on the x-axis too. So we have a nice big um, beam here, just holding the whole stuff. On the side here, I think that's another beam too, but I'm not really sure or something. I can't really tell you what's going on here. But for maybe detailing, um, you can make some kind of little rail, maybe. So just select this again, go into edit mode and do the same thing uh, like earlier. So we're just going to rotate it back. But you can always select a point on top here, go to active element and you can just rotate it with the whole thing on the right axis and you're good. With this railing on top, obviously it's too big, so we are going to scale it down. So we have this tiny, uh, not too tiny, this tiny detail sitting on top. Obviously we have to go up with the count, so just go, not too much. Yeah, that's enough. Take these two and put them here. So in here it's a really tiny detail, so I don't think that we have to put that much as a detail, so I'm going to delete this vertex, uh, this edge here. So we are good. So in here we can just delete some, yeah, some detail maybe later on. But for now we are good, and we are making the same roof from uh, from this side to the other side. So I think it's a big beam here. So let me select this here, duplicate it, make it bigger, and put it on top. So like this. Delete the side we don't need, and that's fine. That's good. That's for the roof. So. Let it as it is, put it on the other side, so the duplication, like that. And on top here we can make our roof. So I see we need another beam on the back side, so just select this here, duplicate it, and put it like here, and a little bit up, like that. So we can just close this area. All right, to make our roof, we can do the same thing. I think there are some, I think that's the, these are some planks going on here. I can't really tell you, mm, but we can try it just to take, uh, let me see the backside maybe. And we are going to use them as a roof. So we have to add the, the same rotation. So I'm going to put them here. It's perfectly aligned. I'm going to make this as active, go to active. And now we can go to the other side and just rotate it like that. Mm, I see we have here to close this first. So we can work on the other stuff. Uh, I don't know if I like that. I'm not very. I'm not really sure, but hmm, we have to try it. All right, maybe we can make some rotation in here that would be better so just select this point here i'm going to make a known separation because it's we have too much of detail here so um to do that 
just select one point, rotate it slightly. So like that, take the next and put them maybe in here. Let me see. Mm, that's too much. It's too much of a rotation. So for the roof, for the roof you can make um, either some metal uh, parts here or um, you can make some uh, wooden parts, but it's all, it's totally up to you how you're gonna make it. So maybe we are going to, yeah, I don't know how we can make this part here. So maybe we are going to make it out of wood. So I'm going to rotate them first in the right direction. So now we can just make a own separation of it so we can just work with them. Select all, put it here on top. We can now make something, yeah, I don't know, we can make something um, different this time. So um, we can first of all make this planks thinner, they are too big. So maybe like that. And now I'm going to add here four vertices. So maybe that's enough for that. And the other I'm going to delete so we um, don't have to do it for all. And now I'm going to select the outer parts and this two. And we can just drag it back. And now we are going to take only the rim, so only the, the outside. I just, so we can take it back too. All right, shade it smooth, don't forget it. And you have this type of rounding here. Um, as you can see, we are too much of, uh, of vertices here. So later on, we are going to delete them. But for now, I'm just going the side view. So in the, in the uh, left view, we can take this part here. And now I'm just putting one shindle down to the other and the other one will be on top. So I think this one will be here, good. And this one will be here, good. So we have this kind of detail laying. So, good. Um, let me try something. If we just take this here and we are adding uh, an array modifier um, on the y-axis, yeah, we can take it like this, but um, as you can see, um, we have a problem here, but we have just to close it with another wood, because if we just going to I think if we're going to delete one, yeah, we can do, we can delete one, but I'm going to delete this here so I can just put it on top of the other one. Like that. Perfect. Now go on to the top view, select all, put it on side where you want to. You see, we have too much. So if you have too much, you can do uh, two things, go down with the counts or just make them smaller. All right, now we have to do the rotation. So take a point here, make it active, go to active element. And so let me see, and just rotate it down. 
All right, you're good with this roof here. We have to close this gap. So that's easy. Just select this here. Oh, not that much. <laughs> we just need a, a little bit of, of that. So we need three, four, five, maybe six. So I'm going to select this part here. We have uh, three, six, yeah, it's good. Just drag it up. In here we need another holding uh, beam. So I'm going to select this here. All right, here we are good. Here we have to close it. So I'm just to take this part here. We can just slide it back. So we're good here. And last thing to do, we have here um, to add another holding bar. So we can take this one and just Duplicate it, drag it up, and maybe scale it with the exception of the y-axis. And we are good. Perfect. So next thing, we are going to make this here. So for this, um, first of all, we need another big beam here, so I'm going to steal this here, just duplicate it and put it in the right place. I think this one will be a good place here. So I'm going to take it on top of the other, so maybe in the wire remote better, like this, and a little bit back. All right, that's good. So I'm going to select maybe this beam here, this big one. And with this beam, we can just make our other roof. So I'm going back in medium point. But for the back side, we have just to delete one. No, we have to delete this um, here. We are going to close the face. And now we are taking the whole thing and just duplicate it, um, scale it on the x-axis by minus one. And now you can see if you are just right or not. But I think you have, yeah, we have a good um, place here. So I'm going to select all the thing here. Just drag it a little bit up. We have just to duplicate this in the back side. And we are good so far in here. Oh, with this we have a shading issue, so just recalculate your normals. And now we can take both and put one of these uh, here, so like on, on this on this edge here. You can go a little bit out if you want to, like that. And we have just to adjust a little bit here. The geometry is too much in here. So go to normals, just drag it a little bit back. Same thing here, and you're good, you're good to go. All right, so I'm going to select both and duplicate them, put them here on this side, select that. Or maybe we go a little bit in the face, so in this face here, and you have your tiny roof. Up here we are going to place another another beam, so just copy and paste it up here like that. So maybe we are going to with this a little bit out like that, and maybe we are going a little bit down. So oh, we are we are in here, so that that's fine. And you have your beam here. Good. Now we have just to close these gaps. Take your wood and place it up here. That's good. 
I make an own separation of it so we can work with this and not with the back one, with the back side. And what we can do now is just to select these parts here. Delete them and you can just as usual slide it in this wood. And we are good on this side. Do the same thing on the other side and you're done with this area here. So here we are close. Now we can just uh, decide how we can make this roof here. Hmm, let me see. Maybe we can just make some shindle, I guess. But we have to see how we can just make them. Hmm. Or maybe in here we can make some metal, uh, metal roof. So... Um, let's try out. So I'm going to add a plane. With the plane I go up and match roughly the, sh the side of this, um, this area. So maybe that's enough. And in here we go a little bit outward, that's good. So in with this we have to be like that and maybe with this we are too much out so let's see if we just can leave it like that yeah that's good all right so to make this metal roof we are going to add some loop cuts i think we are going to add um, like 12 12 loop cuts so if this loop cuts pull them out with another two loop cuts in here so now we can select this parts here we can wrap them up like that and after that I'm just placing a holding edge here and the same thing here so after that we can place another two here in the middle of the gaps and now we can take this here go down And you have this waveform. Now we have just to add shade smooth and auto smooth. So we are good to go. Maybe a little bit up, we are too much, but. So we have this waveform here, but it's looking good so far. Yeah, it's not too bad. We can add um, a solidify modifier. So add them. Go to even thickness, and now we have just to go a little bit thicker on this, maybe. Yeah, we're going up, that's better. So like that. Now we can take all, but take this vertex as active, so go to active element. And now we can just take this and rotate it down. Okay, maybe we are going to start um yeah that's that's a little bit tricky here so we have to go let me see i'm just going to undo that because we are going with this area a little bit down so like that and with this too so we don't have this uh, this big gap here and you can just bevel them out if you want to but as you can see we are a little bit off that's not nice so just take this part and grab them up so like that's holding this this area here all right so i'm taking this face here because it's selected so we can just take this as our middle point 
So now we can take our uh, metal roof and add our mirror modifier. So we have to use the Y axis. But you see, nothing's changed because we have our point in here. So the, the middle of the, the origin is here. We need the origin here. So just click origin to 3D cursor and we need the X, sorry. And we're good. We're good so far. On the back side here, we have just to drag them a little bit back or maybe a little bit more. All right, here we have a gap. So I don't like the gap. So we are going to take this part up here and just drag it up. We can bevel that area. And we are good so far. All right, you have just to close this area here. So just take um, maybe three or four. I think that's enough of this uh, planks here. Yeah, that's good. So we are going a little bit in the mesh like that. And now we have just to delete this area here, close them and drag it out, uh, down. And you're good. All right, you have your little tiny house here. So the last thing we need is just uh, a floor. So for the floor, I'm going to add a plane. Just match roughly the size of this area. All right, here we need a loop cut. So we can just take this area and Drag it out. Good. Now we can make the back side and we have our floor. So to finish our floor, select all and extrude them down just a little bit. And we calculate the normal. Good. Now we can make the high poly part stuff. So for the high poly, I'm just planning to add some few details, not too much. But to start with, we are going to add some um, bolts in here. So I'm just placing my cursor here at, um, at our UV sphere. Go to 64 vertices, rotate them by 90 degrees, shade it smooth. And you're good. Just scale it down on the size you want. And you have your bolt. Good, I'm going to place a few of them on the areas that are just closed. So, so barricaded. So here on the back side we have some major detailing maybe. So I'm going to place one here, the other one here. Now we can just select both and duplicate them and put it like that in this area. So, and so on all the way through. So you can, if you want to make this debris appear. Yeah, that's just some planks laying around, I think. So I'm going to select this plank here doesn't matter which one, just one that's short. And we're going to just make it a little smaller. And you can just put it maybe here. So like that. We have to rotate. No, the rotation is good. On the Y axis, we have to rotate it a little bit. Uh, on the X axis, sorry. And on the Y axis. So we can just place it like that. Or maybe if you want to, you can just place it on the other way. So just select it. And you can put it here. Or what else you can do. We're going to steal that another time. So I'm going to make this time um, maybe some short one like that. 
This one will be built out. Backside, I'm going to delete. We can just work with this small wood plank here. And put it down here. And we have another one here. So... Mm, I'm going to steal it again. So like that. And you're good. If you want to, you can make as much as details that you want, but I'm just leaving like that. So um, now we can make some difference in the wood in here. As you can see, we have some woods part that's popping a little bit out. So just select some loop cuts here that you want to pop a little bit out. I'm going to select them random like that. And now we can just put it a little bit outside. And you see you have this popping detail. Not too much, so we haven't any shading issue, but it's giving you a little bit more of a detail here. So same thing down here and on the whole thing. All right, and the same thing you can do just the other way around. So take some random loop cuts here, like that, and you can go inwards like that. So I have some more detail here, but I think we are good. So last thing you have to do is just to make this pump area here. So it's very easy. We have here some kind of, I think, um, cylinder going on. So I'm going up to 64 vertices and go into edit mode, take the half of it and just drag it up. Make sure that on this side you are just perfectly flat. So select them as X zero. And now we can just drag it up like that. All right, I think that's it. And if you want to, you can just make some uh, additional details. So join them together, these parts here. And now you can just take this face or maybe um, you can just place some loop cuts in here. I think with five we are good. And with this five loop cuts, you can just take them again, bevel them a small amount like that. And now we can just um, go to individual origin. And now we can, if you just press E to extrude, press escape, then you can just press S on the Z axis, go a little bit in and S on the X axis and to go a little bit in. And you have this type of border here and you're good. You can, just say, you can do the same thing on this side here. Maybe that's better. So I have it nice and consistent. Go a little bit in. And you're good for the beginning with this detail. Um, later on, we can just make some other details or maybe um, I'm just doing it in another way. I don't know. Maybe if we just take them. I'm just trying now something. So let me see if we just take them. We're going to insert them. Yeah, we have the power. Okay, I'm going to undo this. 
to undo the whole thing because the thing I want to do is just to make here some border stuff. So just to, I'm just selecting this area, this face is here. And now we can insert them. So like that, you have now this border here. And with this border, we can add five loop cuts again. And now we are going to select, first of all, this faces in here. So then I'm going to delete them so we can close this here. All right, then we need a border here. But first of all, um, I'm going to just duplicate this line here, make an own selection of it. So now we need, let me see. So I want here, here and here some cuts. So select them, bevel them out just a little bit and delete the things here. Close the area. And obviously we have to do the same thing in here. Just a small amount of bevel. Delete the faces and close them. All right. Now we can take the, um, the loop cut you just duplicated earlier on, go into edit mode, close them. And we have to do the same thing here, just join these two together. Same thing here, join them together. So we have the same spacing and the same area. Select all, maybe go a little bit down, just a little bit or a little bit up, what, what you like. And we are going down. So like that, select all, recalculate outside, select them, bevel them a little bit and delete the inner faces. So we can just close them. And here we are, you have some border here now, but it's too even for this type of old stuff. So we can work later on on this, but we have just our pump area and now we can make this pumps.